Hey, what's going on, everybody? Welcome back to Civil Engineering Academy. My name's Cody. Let's go ahead and get started. All right, so today we have a traffic engineering problem. If you're taking the transportation depth, the, the PE exam, this is for you. This is a great theory problem, transportation theory problem. We're going to be talking about some uninterrupted flow. Here's what the question says. Uh, you have just driven past a bottleneck and now recovering your speed. Which type of flow are you currently experiencing? So they could ask you like, uh, you know, you're, you're not under any sort of, you're, you're not affected by upstream or bottlenecks. They can ask you that, or they can ask you about you being backed up. You're within a queue, something like that. They can ask you all types of different questions about this. This is just one example. I encourage you to study all of the material. Uh, if you're taking the PE, this is a good video for you. Uh, I encourage you to look at the material in the highway capacity manual. We need to look on page 12-5, and they give some really good characteristics over unsaturated flow, Q discharge flow, and oversaturated flow. I'm going to read the blurb, and I quote from the Highway Capacity Manual. So I encourage you to just pull it up next to next to you. Unsaturated flow represents conditions under which traf the traffic stream is unaffected by upstream or downstream bottlenecks. So in other words... You're flowing well. You're on the interstate. You're going 75, 70, or sometimes 85, right? Uh, you're traveling free. You you have that free flow, right? Everything's good. You're not really bottlenecked by, you know, a uh, an exit backing up or something like that. The next one is Q discharge flow. This represents con uh, congested traffic flow that has just passed through a bottleneck and is accelerating back to the driver's desired speeds. If no other downstream bottleneck exists, Q discharge flow will be relatively stable until the Q is fully discharged. So, in other words, let's say you get backed up by an exit, right? You're, you know, that you have an off ramp on the interstate and it's backed up. And so, uh, obviously, or even like there's a wreck on the side of the interstate, a lot of people get rubberneck and they want to look at the, uh, they want to look at the wreck and things like that. Um, whenever you are just now exiting that little, where you start slowing down and you start going like two miles an hour on the interstate, it's frustrating. Uh, whenever you just pass that, that is your Q discharge. That's the point where you start engaging into Q discharge and you start accelerating back to 70, 75, 80 miles per hour, whatever is comfortable, right? So that is Q discharge. That is what the answer for this one is. But let's go ahead and read about oversaturated flow. Oversaturated flow represents the conditions within the queue that has backed up from a downstream bottleneck. These flow conditions do not reflect the prevailing conditions of the segment itself, but rather the consequences of a downstream problem. All oversaturated flow is considered to be congested. So think about like your, your on-ramp, off-ramp being backed up, or let's say that you know you have a wreck or something like that. You're, you're going two miles an hour, right? Uh, that is your oversaturated flow. You have so many vehicles packed together that everybody is so cautious. They're paying, you know, a lot of attention to the vehicles around themselves because they don't want to get in a wreck. They're going, they're traveling slow. They're being very cautious. So that is your oversaturated flow. So undersaturated, think you're comfortable. You're not really saturated. You're you're comfortable. You're free. You're free flowing. You're you're going good. You're 70 miles an hour. Oversaturated is more like. You're going two miles an hour, whatever, you know, maybe even 10. It's just really uncomfortable. You're paying attention. You're going slow. It's kind of aggravating. You're not getting where you need to go. Saturated made that one up. Don't don't pay attention to that one. That's not really one of the flow types um, as far as un, uh, uninterrupted flow goes. And then you have Q discharge. So it's the moment that you just start exiting the, under sat or the oversaturated flow. So whenever you get past that wreck or that exit and speed start speeding up you start getting more distance between vehicles that type of thing so that's the difference between the different flows the answer to this one is going to be d so i hope this video helps and we'll catch you next time